Well, welcome. This is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room, and I am happy to join you tonight as we are going to look at a celebration item. And I'm just going to bring this in a little bit closer to me. Oops, too close. Sorry. Here we go. And this here is, of course, the celebration brochure. And we already have a number of items that have already been um, uh, no longer available because they are as supplies last. Here's another one. And we had a whole bunch that they uh, put on our um, more to celebration list. And as I discovered today when I placed an order, the foils are now gone. Woo, things are disappearing fast. So I'm glad that I was able to take advantage of this one, the dots and spots die. It was on my uh, wish list at the very beginning. But when I could get it free, well, that says it all. <laughs> so this is the die. And as you can see, it's a big die. And if you look in comparison to our card, I mean, it's even bigger than our card base. So it's big. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a few ideas of how to use this die. Of course, you it's definitely more meant for a background uh, die. And um, so this is one of the ones that I did. And it's very bright. I like bright. And so this one I did in the polish pink with the Nida Navy. And with this particular one, I used the, the uh, die cuts from and the stamp set because this little spot here is from the stamp set and the flower dies are from Season of Chic. And of course, here's the polka dots. And you can just see how that color just pops from, from that die. So that is one idea that you can do with that. Then I went more neutral colored. And this time I also used our tailor-made tags and I also used one of my favorites, the Elephant Parade. And here is the card that I made. Really simple card because all you're doing is cutting out this one big die. And here I just added uh, the tag and of course just one little elephant. And of course I added some dots, some um, I think those are the in color ones, but it just all fits with the uh, dot theme. So I think that one's pretty adorable. And then tonight we are going to make one that we are going to use, of course, the dots and spots. And I'm also going to use our Christmas Scotty. I'm going to grab my big shot. I have to use the big shot, the big one, or not the big shot, cut and emboss machine tonight because this is a big die i cannot do this one in a mini cut and emboss so i have not cut down this card front size because i find that because this die is so big it is much easier to just put it over top and fill up the colors you can see them poking through and then we will run it through and then you can cut it down as you need. I tried doing it the other way and it didn't work so good. This way, so that, sorry, the table's gonna jiggle a little bit. This is why I usually like the mini cut emboss. All right. Ooh. And I usually stand when I do this, it's a little harder. So I'm gonna just show you what this looks like. So when I lift up this die, if you're worried that you're going to have to pop out all those holes, look at that. Actually, that's even more. I only had two last time that stuck into the die. So you do not have to do much popping at all because, look, I just gave them a little shake and there's just one left. Ta-da! They're all out. So that's how easy it is. And you see all these dots? One thing that I do is I use something that I always use in my kitchen. And um, 
I'm missing it in my kitchen now because I've taken <laughs> it over to my craft studio. And this is actually what I do to scrape off my cutting plate. I use this metal scraper and you can just see by using this scraper, it's just amazing how it lifts everything off right away. And of course, here in this case, we now have a whole bunch of polka dots. So in this case, I have red. Now, because I made those two other cards and I felt that those two colors kind of went together, I just saved them into a little container as I will with the red ones. I'll make kind of a Christmassy one. And this, if I do just a few more cards, guess what? I've got confetti to put into a shaker card. So more opportunities that you can do with this cut, big die cut. Oops, let's turn it over here. All right, so let's make our card. I am gonna bring everything in here. We'll put the die over here just for a little bit. And we are going to use, I think, a black. You like that idea? Yes. I always, I, I hate to throw things out and, you know, it beats sitting there with a hole punch. <laughs> One run through the cut and emboss machine and we got our confetti. I love simplicity. So there we go. So we're going to use a black card front because we cut this out of red. And as you can see, it's bigger than our card front. So this is where we want to bring in our trimmer. And we are going to cut that down. Now you can see that some of the dots got kind of cut here and a little bit on each side. So what I do is I like to look here and I say, okay, hmm. Well, I am going to cut that right there so that I don't have so many um, holes on the end. And now I'm gonna make sure that this is pretty, oh, it's gonna be in the middle. So I'm gonna go over a smidge. Might make it a little bit and that's okay because black is quite dark. So we're just gonna make this one a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna cut it here. But you can see how much easier that would be rather than trying to guess where you're putting the die for the, uh, the holes. So we are one and quarter. If I go, yep, that should be just over that. All right. So let's remove our trimmer. And we're going to bring our card in. Let's get all my scraps out of the way. Do we have enough? No, I got to cut a little bit more. Yeah, I definitely want to cut a little more. Okay, I'm just going to use my little guy here this time. Uh, I guess we might have, well, let's see. Let's cut right up to that line. Let's see what this does. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. Actually, it looks like a ladybug. <laughs> I should have used the ladybug. You like the scraper idea? Yes. That is a great tool from a kitchen store and, and plastic doesn't work the same. The metal definitely is a lot uh, stronger and I find because it is so thin, because this is what you use for, you know, pasta or whatever, that works really well. Yes, it looks like a ladybug. So I definitely, that would be a good punch to use with this one as well, is a ladybug. But we are going to make a, a doggy. Scotty. So we have our Christmas punch. Isn't that ever adorable? I'm sorry, I love dogs. And <laughs> so we are going to cut a Scotty dog. We're going to get the ribbon as well, but we won't be using a black ribbon. We're just going to use the dog. So here we've got the dog. And now we need to have, um, let's see. I always have extras, just so you can see what I'm doing here. When I have extra things that I have cut the insides out, I keep them, and then that way I can just keep them right close to my crafting, and then I can add whatever I want to my cart. And look at that. 
let's see I think this is gonna work we got black I think we should go this way let's orientate it this way and then if we did black and then a white I think that would work but I don't want stark white so if you don't want stark white one thing that I find really works well is if you take a piece of paper and put it behind and we're going to bring in some real red and I'm going to use um, the blending brush and we don't want this dark we want just a very thin little layer of color just to kind of spotlight our dog so we're just going to put some little circles with the red just kind of like I guess really kind of an oval shape because of the fact that it's um, on a rectangle so let's put this doggy right on this red blotch I might have to see do we have enough there maybe a little bit more in this one corner there we go maybe a little bit darker in the middle okay I think we're good I don't want to have too much color all right so now <clears throat> we're gonna take our Scotty dog and here's gonna be the question what are we gonna pop well we obviously want to glue this down because that would definitely make sense for the bottom now there are a lot of holes so uh, what I kind of did is I just kind of skated around <laughs> around the outside around the holes whoop I went in that's the f uh, okay part because I'm using a silicone mat so the glue just goes on my silicone mat and that way it won't get stuck on any of my cards or projects so now we are going to put this oops i'm out of screen well let's push this in a little more we gotta be able to see what we're doing here okay so we're going to put this red okay now we have some layers so this is where you want to pop you know what i'm going to ask already leanne <laughs> yes i'm thinking we can glue the white onto the black and maybe pop the Scotty and the black. Okay, while I'm gluing this on, you tell me if you think that's a good idea. We'll put the white onto the black. Okay. Put this guy right in the middle here. So this is the deckled rectangles, and this one actually is the stitched rectangle but you can use them interchangeable. It looks just fine. So here is the question. Are we popping this piece and the dog? Okay, I'm gonna, oh, pop the pup. Yep, most definitely we're popping the pup. Definitely doing that. Okay, so let's put one here. Should we pop the black? Uh, square is a rectangle I should say as well yes okay I think that would look more balanced that was my view too Marcia okay so first of all we're gonna put our doggy let's put him right in the middle and then we're gonna pop this side <clears throat> I threw my dimensionals over here <clears throat> You know, I start off with a very clean desk, and by the end of the live, oh my goodness, have I made a mess. But that's what happens when you're busy crafting. Okay, and actually I think I will put two more in here. One in here, one here. Sure, Vicki says, okay. And I think we should put a, well, I don't know. I have a few things here. We could make a red bow and for the, that comes on the punch. Or the other thing I have brought here for us is some red ribbon. And actually, maybe I should wait. Should we put the ribbon on? I have the curly ribbon or this 
beautiful ribbon that comes in a set of red and green. Sure, Vicki says. Which one? Maybe that would be too clashy. Let's, let's maybe try this one. Now, are we going to put it under him? Curly? You like curly? Let's see the difference. Should we put it like underneath him there? Let's try it. And then we can decide. Oops, I could put it right on the... I usually put that, but we'll just cut off some of it so it can still stick on there. Curly. Okay, nobody else has said anything yet. Oh, I think that'll be enough. Okay, so if we put this on here... I don't know, It's maybe should go up a little bit more. It's almost hiding with the um, red on the dots. So maybe let's push this up under his feet a little bit more. <laughs> of course, now that wants a stick. Come on. Oh, I put it lower. I need it higher. Wrong side. There, what do you think? Those curls gotta go right under there. What do you think, ladies? That should go up a little higher too. And then we need a red, um, what happened to my red? I had a paper here and it's disappeared. Don't, there it is. So I'm gonna grab a piece of red and we're going to put that through the punch. Whoop! There it is. Isn't that cute how they've got this cute little ribbon that you can then put it on the dog? It just finishes the dog, doesn't it? So we could do that and let's glue this on. And I just got an, another idea Thinking of dots, hmm, how about if we take the black, what do they call them, matte dots, there, where are we going to put it, down here, how about that, we could put some Wink Estella on the ribbon, on the bow, I should say. Have a little bit of sparkle. What do you think? A little sparkle never hurt. Let's put a little bit of glimmer on here. There we go. Okay, now he's got a Christmas bow. So there we go. He's cute, isn't he? So there are three options. Let's get these other guys back here. From red to a green, which could be a baby card. And then we also have this bright one here as well. Let's see if we can get them all on here. Yep, I think we can. So there we go. Those are some ideas with our dots and spots cutting die some white chalk on his tail white chalk i don't have white chalk <laughs> are you saying the puppy's getting into trouble leanne <laughs> so there we go those are some ideas and be sure to check out the celebration items if there is something that you are wanting I would recommend you get it real soon because as we've even seen today, it's disappearing fast. So this actually is in our annual catalog and it will be available um, for a long time. And uh, But we get it free with a $120 order. 
So yes, I do love that Christmas Scotty as well, Rondi. And it's, it looks, they say Christmas Scotty, but it really doesn't have to be Christmas. It says Merry Christmas and it has snowflakes, but the rest of it is any time of the year. And look at his little eye looking. I mean, he's just adorable. And there's a woof. <laughs> so yes, he is pretty cute. So there we go. Sorry, I was a little bit later today, but I'm so thankful that you got to join me and uh, we'll see you next time. And if you don't have a catalog or you don't have a celebration um, brochure, please let me know at madelinescraftroom.net and you can see all my classes and things that I offer there and uh, would love to be able to help you in any way and be sure to sign up for my newsletter so you can be on top of all the things that are happening. So good night, ladies. Have a good weekend. Thanks for now. Bye. Thanks, Leanne.